What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. And guys, this is pretty crazy for me to say, but I cannot believe I am ready and excited for school to start. I think that is the first time I ever said that. Hmm. But anyways, I want to show you what I'm doing, the classes I'm taking, what the schedule is going to be like for me, if I'm going to be working still, and other things that I'm doing to prepare for school before it actually starts. So with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so what I have for you today on the screen, this is the registration page for University of Washington. You go to this web browser when you're ready to register for classes and um, it's a pretty hefty website, I have to say, that uh, you have to navigate to really fully understand. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. All right, so right in front of you, this is the registration page for autumn of 2020. And my major is the Human Center Design and Engineering Evening. And what that means is all of my classes, all of my courses will be held during the nighttime. So that's anywhere from, I believe, 6 p.m. start ending around 10 p.m. at night. So, you know, that is, that's pretty late for uh, school, but if you gotta work and you're ready to grind, that's the best way to do it. So getting right into it, the courses that I'm taking are all in the human Center design and engineering uh, spectrum. And what I'm taking is uh, HCD 508, 515, which is the mandatory class, 518 is mandatory for uh, first year for first quarter uh, master's students so and the last class that I'm taking is HCDE 526 but you know what does number really mean we got to look into what the classes are really all about so the first one is let's look at 508 so this one is between 6 to 9 50 only on Thursdays so let's check it out so 508 you can see right at the top of the screen it's visual communications for four credits. All right, so I'm just gonna read through this. Review the principles. Ah. Reviews, principles of visual communications and design used in HCD so that students gain a systematic and critical understanding so that they can create visual communication components, uh, print and interactive media. Students develop this understanding through hands-on exercise, design critiques, discussion lectures, and reading in the studio environment. Overall, I mean, it's pretty interesting for me. It's all about uh, really being able to formulate something to show on uh, and communicate through media. <laughs> so very, that's a very generic explanation. You know, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But one thing I will say is, when I was registering for these classes, they were full, like filled up, and I was panicking because. I didn't know if I was gonna actually get them. So any classes that were thrown at me or open that were available, I signed up right, right for it. And uh, this meets the graduation criteria. And so, you know, I'm happy with it. So that's that, that's the first class. The next class I'm taking, 518. This one is just titled User Center Design. Again, for four credits. Uh, I was recommended to take 10 credits a quarter for uh, a full-time student, being a full-time student. And I believe graduating requires about like 48 credits. So yeah. Okay, so this one, this course right at the top, explores the user-centered design paradigm, paradigm <laughs> from a broad perspective, emphasizing how user research and prototype assessment can be integrated into different phases of the design process. Students learn to think like a user-centered design and carry out activities that are key to user-centered design. As you can tell, there's a lot of user-centered design uh, phrases in uh, these sentences. So I think that's one thing I'm gonna have to get used to, saying and reading. Overall, this class uh, description, very similar to the 508, really, uh, in terms of what it's uh, trying to reach. Seems like it's really focuses, focuses on the tiny, the minute phases of design process 
from start and then you got the you know one step up and then another step up to finally the finished product so i think this class really speaks to that uh, which i really like you know i think everything happens uh, in small phases baby steps so yeah that is my second course and my last course that i'm taking is a uh, 526 video prototyping and as you can see this is a two credit course rather than a four which brings me to a total of 10 credits like i said making me a full-time student so this course description explores video as a design tool students learn about narrative and storytelling in the context of user-centered design again enhances technical abilities in the creation of visual artifacts while communicating design vision imparts practical knowledge necessary to create a video prototype exposes students to the history of video prototypes as well as contemporary practices prerequisite graduate or standing permission of instructor so i believe this is for catered towards graduate students only I, that's what i see from the prerequisites unless you have uh, an okay from the professor overall i chose to take this class because of youtube i recently started making all these youtube videos and believe it or not with this the little amount of subscribers that i have about 237 yes i remember that to detail i actually get a few comments that uh, make me happy in a way that you know i feel like my videos are helping people and i think that's the goal of why i want to make videos so yeah i, I just want to continue making videos not for the sake of just posting on YouTube, but also being able to help those who, you know, want some help. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I'm doing it and why I'm taking this course. To really elevate my communication skills through talking to you on YouTube. Alright, so those are the description of the three courses that I'm taking. And I think to put in picture of the time schedule, I'm just going to show you this, the visual schedule which you can see from the web browser. So here it is. This is my autumn quarter schedule. I only have courses, classes on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, and they are all separated into individual days. So I don't, there's no days where I, t I have two classes uh, on the same day. It's just one at a time. So as you can see, evening classes, they all start at 6 p.m all gonna be online because of COVID. And uh, they end, they, they are long classes. On Tuesdays and Thursday, it's about three hours. One goes for almost four hours. And on Wednesday, I'm spared with the lucky one and a half about hour class. So I'm happy about it. But one thing to notice is, you know, you only see your classmates 10 times really they're only in one of your classes because it's once a week for 10 weeks. So you gotta take advantage to the maximum uh, with all these courses. So that being said, in the morning, during the daytime, I'm gonna be working at my current workplace uh, to get some income, of course. I gotta make money. And then during the evening class, that's where I'm gonna be grinding, doing homework and all that. So yeah, this is my schedule. This is what I got going on for school before it even starts. I thought I would want to share it with people who are interested in applying to the HCD program because you know when I applied, I had no direction whatsoever. And I hope this video really helps you. Uh, one thing that I did do is I spoke to an advisor twice about what courses I should take, how I should best prepare for my first quarter going in. And you know I showed him the classes that I registered for and I, he, rec he said, that they are good you know they are good in terms of you know not overwhelming me uh being able to graduate on time and actually you know being on schedule with the alignment of graduation so with that being said the last thing i want to say is that this master program tuition very important tuition is based on credit so one credit calc comes out to be about 900 ish dollars per credit so for 10 credits i'm going to be paying roughly nine thousand almost ten thousand a quarter it's a lot of money but uh wait 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 yeah that, i think that's right that's right 
because the total cost of school is about 40 forty thousand and ten credits ten thousand yes that's right all right everyone um uh, yeah i hope you found this video helpful and uh i haven't started school yet i still have another month to go i showed you my classes talked a little bit about the schedule and then lastly a tiny bit about the tuition cost if you have any other questions or anything you want me to go over before i start school comment in the section below and i'll try to make a video about it so until next time i'm henry hope you enjoyed the video subscribe hit the like button peace